Good morning, everyone. Just wanted to do a quick video on an observation I made this morning. Now, when I came downstairs to my office, I could hear the fans running on the two inverters, but they would occasionally just click and sound like they were cycling. And I've had the inverters in standby mode for a few days because it's the batteries got way too low and I needed to recharge them to be able to power the house. So right now the house is back on grid. So I switched them to standby mode and when I did that I didn't think anything of it. I thought it's gonna work fine, it's gonna be should be fairly efficient because all it's doing is going DC to DC, solar panels down into the batteries. And let me show you what I saw and heard when I came down this morning. So in the event that you have your inverters in standby mode, not actually inverting power, you may end up hearing some clicks coming in the morning about the time that the sun tries to come out. And I believe this is because the MPP is detecting that there's a possibility of solar and so it's starting to ramp up but there's not quite enough solar so then it just turns back off. And a minute ago the solar icon was flashing, yep, right there. So that's what leads me to believe that's what's going on here. I was just trying to figure out. You can hear the clicking. I was trying to figure out what's going on because I can hear it in my office. And right now it is 8.27 in the morning, very cloudy and rainy. Yeah, so PV2, the second inverter, just started uh, flashing solar icon as well. So if you ever end up hearing clicking coming from your inverters in the morning and you think, they're on standby, what's going on? probably what's happened. The sun's starting to come out just enough to where your MPPT is getting voltage. And it looks like we finally have enough voltage for the MPPTs to actually start doing their job. And you can see the solar icon and a little arrow DC to DC charging up to the battery. Same thing over here. And the clicking stopped. So after seeing that, that leads me to believe that these inverters are somewhat inefficient when it comes to being solar charge controllers only. And if I can find the video, I'll link to it in the description. Uh, David Paz, I think, came to the same conclusion that a standalone charge controller, that's, that's all it does, is much more efficient. And I think that's probably due to the requirement for active cooling in these units. If the fans didn't have to spin up, I would wonder if the, the charging would be much more efficient. But the fact that these inverters keep turning on and off and on and off and on and off and then the fans have to turn on and off and on and off when there's almost enough voltage but then that disappears, it just makes me kind of wonder. Something like these are much more efficient. Yes, I know they're Victron and Victron equipment is very efficient across the board, but, but these have no active cooling. Uh, they have this giant heat sink on the back to dissipate heat and I've run these things before with three times the rated solar coming in and it gets warm and I'm sure there's efficiency losses in that 
over paneling, but it seems like it's nothing compared to what we're seeing with this. And the only reason that I'm not using these instead of the charge controllers built into the inverters is due to the fact that my panels have an open circuit voltage of 50 volts. So you really wouldn't want to put three on here because that would be right at the peak. And then on a cool day, you might end up getting a little more than 50 volts a panel and then you fry your charge controller. So I'd only be able to put two on here and I may have two of these. Well, I have 11 panels that are 455 watt a piece with 50 volts open circuit. So I'd have to buy a lot of these or I would have to buy the jumbo version of the Victron, which just doesn't make sense to me right now. I might end up running some of my smaller 100 watt panels into these, which is why I haven't gotten rid of them yet. It's just an observation that I made in regards to having these in standby mode and when I heard the clicking, I investigated to see what was going on because it was just, I'm used to hearing either the fans running or nothing running. And so if you look at the inverse behind me now, the charge, charge light, the light in the middle over here is blinking on both. So voltage is up. So I took a video of my solar assistant setup once the charge controllers turned on and you can see some inefficiency here because we're only getting 20 watts of solar in but we're having to pull 134 watts or 130 watts out of the batteries so that the fans and the active cooling can run while attempting to get in 20 watts of solar you're not even talking 10 watts per array so you're wasting a significant amount of battery power with only getting minimal power from your panels. So I just thought it would be something interesting to share, something interesting for me to, to record and document the fact that if I happen to come across this again, at least I know what's going on. It, it kind of disturbed me when I kept hearing click, 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 click. But once the batteries get charged and once I get my AC line coming into the panels, it should never be in standby mode again, uh, having this problem. So thanks for watching. I've got more work to do still. We'll see how far we get the next time. Y'all have a good one. We'll catch up with you later.